As we have already discussed about the value types and reference types, we have seen like whenever we would want to store any null value, we can do that easily in the reference types as a reference can be a null. But if I talk about a value type, value types are not capable enough to store a null value inside. Logically, we are not going to store the null in any value type like integer or float but let's consider a scenario like I am taking the data from some remote machine, maybe a file or a database and we can definitely get a null value in an integer or float from a database. So here we will see how we can do the nullable types with our value types. So let's see it practically. So here as you can see like a string which is a reference type can easily carry a null value inside but when I'll try to do the same thing for integer or any reference type it will start giving me an error that is cannot convert null into int because it is a non-nullable value type. Non-nullable simply means that this particular data type is not able to carry a null. But what if the data is coming from some external file or database? We may get a null value there. So in order to make our value type capable of storing a null, we can pass a question mark symbol which will make this a nullable type. And now it is able to carry a null. Of course in a basic programming, we will not assign a null to the values but as I said earlier, from the external environment you may get that. Here I am making another nullable type that is B and what I will do is I will do A is equal to A double question mark 20. Now what does that mean? It will actually do a conditional thing like if A is carrying a non nullable value like currently A is containing 10 so B will take the value of A and if I will print the value of B right here you can see it will print a 10 because that is what it contains. But now if I will assign a null to this A like this in this scenario B will not take the value of A because it is containing a null. So it will take the value from this one. Make sure only this value will be compared. If you will put any variable out here and if that contains a null even though it will take this particular value only. So now if I will execute this we will get a 20 because B will not take A but this one. So this is how you can use the nullable type along with the null coalescing operator that is double question mark.